Hi, I'm Maria. I'm the curator of Maritime and Local History Collections at Southampton Museums. In this short video, I'll show you something from our museum collection which gives us a snapshot of life in Southampton at the end of the Second World War. It's a collection of stained glass fragments mounted in two wooden frames. There's a label with the frames which says that they contain glass from the south window of a bar gate broken during the celebrations on VE Day. Now, VE Day, or Victory in Europe Day, was on the 8th of May 1945, and it marked the end of more than five years of war. And of course, it was celebrated throughout the country, including in Southampton. On the day, the Echo reported that the shop fronts in the High Street had been barricaded in anticipation of surging crowds, and that shops reported a big demand for flags, bunting, and red, white and blue ribbons. The newspaper also said that Merry VE Day to you seemed to be a popular greeting in the city. In the afternoon, about 20,000 people gathered outside the Civic Centre to listen to the Prime Minister's VE Day broadcast and to hold a service of thanksgiving. And then the parties began. There were VE dancers at the Guildhall, bonfires and dancing in the streets. The next day's newspaper headline was Exciting victory nights at Southampton. Great crowds sing, dance and cheer. There had also been a bit of over-the-top celebrations. There was a notice in the newspaper saying, nine of the 12 flags of the Allies decorating Southampton Civic Centre were missing when daylight came. The corporation will be grateful if the souvenirs are returned to the Civic Centre as soon as possible. And one of the Civic Centre gardeners was quoted saying that the roses in the rose garden in front of the Civic Centre would never be the same again this year after the crowds had parted through the night. The local papers don't mention any disturbances near the bar gate, but an interview made by the BBC a few years ago included the memories of a local teenager who said that she remembered going into Southampton in the middle of the night on VE Day where there were bonfires in the street. She said, we saw a car being burnt in the area in front of the bar gate as everyone was so happy. The bar gate had been bricked up and used as an air raid shelter during the war. I'm not sure if the bricks had been removed before VE Day, but it seems that having survived the blitz, the stained glass in the south windows did not survive the ecstatic partying of the Southampton crowds on VE Day. Thanks very much for watching.